Welcome to the Walton Fee! Just kidding, welcome to the Walton Pie! And happy April Fool's Day! Today we're going to go through a common prank proof and see if you can be able to figure out where the mistake is. So this is going to be a proof that every number is equal to zero. Now, remember, I said this is a prank proof. This is not actually true. But the proof looks at a cursory glance to be a valid proof. So let's go through this and see if we can figure out where the mistake is. I'm not going to tell you where the mistake is. That'll be tomorrow's video. Best of luck. Let's start by assuming that we have a number A and that we can also write it as B. So we'll start by assuming that A equals B. We can then multiply both sides by A and we get A squared equals AB. And then we can rewrite A squared equals AB by subtracting B squared from both sides. So we get A squared minus B squared is equal to AB minus B squared. Well, both of these sides can factor, so we get A plus B times A minus B is equal to B times A minus B. Well, we have an A minus B on both sides, so we can cancel that out. So we have A plus B is equal to B. Well, we can then subtract B from both sides, so that means that we are going to get A equals zero, which tells us that any number has to be equal to zero. Look at this and see if you can spot where the mistake is. Look, feel free to let me know in the comments section where you think it is. And as always, best of luck with your math and tune in tomorrow to be able to tell where the mistake is and see how this is actually not a valid proof. Best of luck. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was entertaining for you on this wonderful April Fool's Day. Uh, please check out some of my other videos that are not prank proofs and I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks and have a great day.